Anybody with even the remotest of interest in custom motorcycles will know the bike shed. What started as a blog by Dutch and a few friends quickly grew into an exhibition and such was the success of that first Shoreditch event in 2013 that it grew significantly and required a move to Tobacco Dock to accommodate its new size. With two Paris shows under their hats too, the Bike Shed Show has become the biggest custom motorcycle lifestyle show in Europe. Whilst all these shows were taking place, the Bike Shed venue opened in London and offers a place to meet, relax, shop and eat at the altar of the custom motorcycle. The brand has spread worldwide as well, and there is now a new bike shed venue in Los Angeles. I first met Dutch, Vicky and the team back in 2014, and have been involved with the shed in some form or another ever since. It even gave me the opportunity for my first appearance in a feature film. Bike Shed Apparel has been available for many years, but 2020 saw the Bike Shed venture into the world of protective clothing with their very own riding jeans. The single layer jeans come in two flavours, Resistant, which offers abrasion resistance from the Kovec material in their construction, and the Protective Road Jean, which further backs up this resistance with full D3O Ghost Armour. When Claire kindly offered the chance for me to try them out, being the full protection guy that I am, I picked the road jeans and here is what I've found after wearing them for a few weeks. Let's start by taking a look at the material the jeans are made from. I've already mentioned the name Kovec and that's the brand for the Aramid fibre that's used in the construction of these jeans. It's woven into the denim as opposed to being a separate layer of material to offer the protection. Don't be confused by the mesh on the inside, that's just a comfort liner. The jeans have got a nice simple style, there's no rivets, there's no fancy stitching, they've got a straightforward zip fly, and they're described as a slim tapered fit. Now, I thought I was gonna have some issues with these. Coming from the bike shed, I had fears they'd be super skinny, but they're not at all. I'm a 36 inch waist, and the fit is really good. They are narrowed towards the bottom of the leg, but that works well because they will still go over a casual riding boot. If you want to wear a bigger, maybe a motocross style boot, then the legs are narrow enough to go inside. They are just like wearing a normal pair of jeans, very lightweight very comfortable and actually the material they're made from has got a really nice stretch to them as well which makes them comfortable to wear around during the day but also means they're going to be very comfortable when sitting and riding the bike. The protective road jeans come with the new D3O Ghost armour in both the hip and the knees as standard. This level one armor is incredibly light and incredibly flexible. And when you're wearing it, you don't even know that it's there. This is the first pair of jeans I've worn with hip armor that I don't even notice. I've been wearing these jeans for a few weeks now and I have to say they are incredibly comfortable. They're really cool when it starts to get warm, but by the same token, that comfort lining adds a little bit of insulation when things start to cool down. As for the armor, as I've said, you put it in, you don't really even notice it's there. It's incredibly comfortable and you get that level one protection too. Whilst I'm on the subject of protection, the combination of the Kovec material that these jeans are made from and the D3O armour mean that they have a AA garment rating. A quick word of warning for those that like to wear a turn up on the protective jeans, if you do so, the lining will be visible. If you don't want that lining, then your only option is to go with the resistant jeans that don't feature that mesh inner. So I guess the burning question that you have is how much do they cost? Well, the full on protective road jeans retail at 240 pounds. The resistant unarmored jeans retail at 140 pounds. So they're a good looking jean, they're comfortable and they're protective and having a look around at what else is on the market, they don't seem to be priced too badly either. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below and all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching, take care, ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.